Hello, my fans, sneak peepers, and curious friends. I'm difficult and demanding. If you want to know my real name, then hold still, and I might bring your wish to fruition. Before I begin, you can find this show in iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Blueberry, Google Play Music, TuneIn, YouTube, and Stitcher. Now, unlike the other people in your life, I actually care about what you think, what you don't think, and what you try not to think about. Welcome to the Difficult and Demanding Show. I'm real, uncensored, unconventional, and shoot straight between the eyes. My show is outrageously honest with a keenly witty view into life. Yes, I said life. That's what we do every single day. We are living life, for some of us at least. I'm going to provide laughter, shock, while touching your inner being. Maybe your body if you're lucky. (laughs) Why do I call myself difficult and demanding? Well, first, because I can. Two, because I'm not supposed to. Three, this is the most important point. It only means something if I give life to it. So, I'm going to slowly unveil you to you and give you a new life to live. Difficult and demanding is going to liberate every part of your being and maybe your body. I, your host Tara, am keeping it authentic, intriguing, and provocative. If you have entered my world, then be honest with yourself about it. You want to be here, and you know I want you here. So you've been waiting for me all week to summon you. Well, you've been called, so bring your fucking ass over to me. I want to know if you know what a pecker order is. I said, do you know what a pecker order is? You're saying, sounds familiar, but sounds off. It should sound familiar, and it should sound fucking off, because it's coming from me. Now, I know you've heard of a pecking order. A pecking order. A pecking order is a ranking system. Priority. From most important to least important, least important to most important. But have you heard of a pecker order? (laughs) Now, do you know what a pecker is? Uh, You're trying to figure out, is she really talking about what I think? Yes, I'm talking about what the fuck you think I'm talking about. A pecker. A pecker is a dick. It is a penis. It is a cock. So I have asked you for the third or fourth goddamn time. Have you heard of a fucking pecker order? Mm, I caught your attention? Good. I should have had it in the first damn place. This episode is called Pecker Order. And my inspiration for this episode is the fact that I, me, difficult and demanding, I believe that when you have people in your life and you are in relationships, I think you should worship them. I think you should pamper them. I think you should make them feel. Like heaven has arrived in their motherfucking life. And depending on if they act wrong, maybe hell also. But let's let's stick with heaven. You like heaven, right? Heaven. Now we all have our version of what heaven should look like, should feel like. And more specifically, what does heaven feel like in a relationship? Some of y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to understand. So I believe that we should worship the people in our life. Really worship them. You're saying, well, difficult and demanding. I think that's unreasonable, impractical. I just don't feel the shit all the time. And that's the first fucking problem. Because if you have a person in your life and you look at that son of a bitch and it doesn't make you say, thank you, heavens, for bringing this motherfucker into my life, like, damn. Thank you, damn, damn. Did I mention fucking damn? If you don't feel like that, then I'm telling you, you're with the wrong fucking person. 
Did you hear what I said? You were the wrong person. You're saying difficult and demanding. No one's perfect. No one has everything. Well, no, no one's perfect. But there is someone who is best for you. And that person should make you thank the heaven, the goddamn stars, and also visit fucking hell to thank Lucifer, him or herself, for that motherfucker that's in your life. Now, if you don't feel that, again, I said that's a problem. Now, this episode is called Pecker Order. Because I want to know when the person that you're in a relationship with, when they come home, how do they greet you? How do you greet them? When you go to sleep at night, how do you end your day? When you wake up in the motherfucking morning next to this person, how do you start your day? How do you start your day with the most prized possession in your life? Because if you guys have been keeping up with me in my episodes, I've told you, each one of us is rare. It's fucking one of a kind. You will never find another motherfucker like the one you were with. Do you understand? And most importantly, there's only one of me, your dark side mistress. Do you understand? No one. No one can imitate me. No one can fucking dream of imitating me. So if there's only one, do you understand one? And you have that one special person in your life. I'm asking you, how do you greet them? How do you wake up next to them? How do you go to sleep next to them? How do you let them walk out the door? How do you let them come in the door? What the fuck do you do when you see this most prized possession of yours? All y'all motherfuckers are quiet. Fuck it. Birds chirping. Goddamn bees are buzzing. I don't hear anything. Well, one of the reasons I don't hear anything because I am talking into my mic by myself. But I'm setting the scene. I'm setting the scene for you so you can understand what the hell I'm talking about. How do you make that person feel? How do they make you feel? Do their eyes light up when they see you? Do they drop everything and come over to you, greet you, hug you, caress you? What the fuck are you people doing? Tell me. Tell me what you are doing. Because I'm going to tell you what I think you should be fucking doing. (laughs) Of course, I have to get to the punchline. I said this show was called Pecker Order. Now, there's a lot of women. I don't have the exact number, but there's a lot of women who have problems with dicks. (laughs) Yes, they don't like the way they look. Maybe they don't like the way they feel. Maybe they don't like to deal with the motherfuckers. But I think that's one of God's greatest fucking creations. Dicks, cocks, penises. Did you hear what I say? Dicks, cocks, penises. One of God's greatest fucking gifts on this goddamn earth. Now me, you know, I live in a world, a universe of my fucking own, of my own. That I've created. But I'm telling you, if you want to make someone feel like a god or goddess on this fucking earth, you have to be animated. You have to have life, give life. You have to make them fucking excited. I told you my episode is called Pecker Order. And I think cocks are the greatest fucking things on this earth. Now, some women think rocks, diamonds are the best thing. But you can't get a rock until you know how to fuck a cock. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you with me? <laughs> I've caught some of you guys' attention. Other people, I probably discuss you. Whatever. Keep the fuck up and grow the fuck up. Pecker order. When you walk through that fucking door. When you lay in bed next to her at night. I'm asking you. What does she do for you? How does she make you feel? You see, in my mind, in my world, I have a bubble. A thought bubble above my head. This is what I imagine. This is what I envision. She gives you a kiss tonight and she kisses your fucking dick. Now, one of them is of greater importance. Now, some of you people who are really smart, really smart. If my episode is called Pecker Order, then you should know who gets the longer kiss. (laughs) Yes, I'm in one of those moods today. I'm in one of those moods today. And what I'm talking to you about, it is literal and it's also figurative. Because a man wants the woman that he's with to love him and worship his goddamn dick. Do you understand? (laughs) Yes, that's one of the most important things in his world. His goddamn cock is dick, which is why his hands are probably all over and why he wishes your hands in your mouth and maybe your face is all over that shit. But you understand what I'm saying. How does she make you feel? Now, when you see her, What do you think? 
Is she dropping in like a hot and twerking in your fucking face? Yes. Is she backing her ass up to your fucking face? Twerk, twerk, work, work, twerk, twerk, work, work. I'm asking you, what is it like? You're saying, shit. No, I can get that. You didn't know you can ask for that. Yes, you can ask for that. You can try, but she may tell you fucking no. But to try and to fail, it's not laziness. I have to applaud you. But what I'm asking you is what are you people doing? What are you doing? You're with a woman who hates dick. Maybe the sight of it. Maybe the touch of it. Maybe the fucking taste feel of it. What kind of goddamn life is that? The most important part of your body, which is your fucking dick, she can't stand. That has to be a fuck all feeling. This fuck, 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 fuck. Fucked up from the sun up, sun down. And you want to know why your manhood ceases to exist. Why your desire, your passion, all that shit ceases to exist. You know why? Because you have to give to receive. And if she is not giving you fucking life, if she's not giving you desire, if she is not giving you, you know, inspiration and appreciation for all that you fucking have, then you can understand why your shit is stale and ceases to exist. Do you understand? It's a relationship that works together. If you can't stand the sight, the smell, the taste of her, and she can't stand the sight, the taste, the smell of you, what in the hell are you people doing? You love each other? Let's call bullshit. Let's call bullshit fucking bullshit. Did you know? If you don't know, now you motherfucking know. It's bullshit. You don't know how many days on this earth that you have. And you don't know how many days you have left in the fucking relationship that you are in. Does that give you some perspective? Does that give you some inspiration, some fucking motivation? So if you know you have X amount of days, hours, minutes left. And if you still do not feel inspired to shower the person you're with with love, affection, you know, fucking until the sun comes up, the moon comes up. If you don't feel inspired to do that. I'm telling you, but you probably have already figured this out. Dump that son of a bitch you're with. Dump him. Move on. Don't you want to feel like you're happy to be fucking alive? Or do you want to feel like you wish you were fucking dead? Because I know we're taught that we're supposed to go through life like robots. Right? It's not normal to experience um, all these sensations that you have as a child and a young adult. And again, I'm going to call bullshit. Your life is what the fuck you expect. You have low expectations, no expectations. You're going to receive pretty much close to nothing, nothing. And if the person you're with, they can't bring it to you. What to do? (laughs) Life goes on now, doesn't it? Life goes on. You guys like to do all these side hustles to get your fucking needs met instead of telling the person you're with, look, you need to love my dick more than you love me. (laughs) Yes, you need to love my cock more than you love me. You need to massage it. You need to worship it. You need to talk to it. You need to name that motherfucker. You need to wake it up, put it to sleep. That's what you need to do. Can't y'all have a conversation like that? No. Why not? It's disgusting. Why is it disgusting? It's how you really feel. And if you don't feel like that anymore, I can guarantee you you're fucking used to. So what happened? Oh, difficult and demanding has now reminded you of some shit that you tried to forget. Bury, sweep under the rug. No, you don't want to do that. That makes you age too fucking fast. It makes your testosterone levels fall even fucking faster. Do you understand? You need a rush, a jolt. You need to be stroked and fucking stoked. Do you understand? Trying to understand, can't understand. You feel angry, you feel bitter, you feel resentful. I understand. But now that you know, what I want to know is what the fuck you're going to do about it. What do you want to do about it? One, you should keep listening to me. (laughs) Because that's one of the best things you'll ever get. But the second thing is, why can't you have these types of conversations? Why are these conversations so uncomfortable? Why are people uncomfortable with who and what you are? You, I mean, you are, they are. Why are you uncomfortable? You were fucking born naked. 
eventually when you die, the clothes that you have on your fucking body is going to come off of it. So your body is natural. Cocks, penises, fucking vaginas, pussies, cunts, all that shit is natural. If you're a woman, most women, you have a cunt. If you're a man, most men, you have a cock. What is the fucking problem? What is the problem? We all got it. Some of y'all don't want it, but you got it. What is the problem? Why are you uncomfortable? Being naked, intimacy, connection, is a natural part of life. It's just like breathing. So why are you uncomfortable? It's a very deep question. Because you're not, for the most part, I don't think you're uncomfortable with your hair. Or your lips. Or your teeth. Well, some of y'all son of bitches, you don't like anything about yourself, do you? Can't stand shit about yourself. You got to get beyond that. Your happiness, your fulfillment. It's in your control. It's in your power. But you don't know how to use your power. So if you don't want to fucking use your power, then surrender your motherfucking power to me. Give that shit to me. I live for it. Give it to me. If you can't control, then fucking accept that you need to be controlled. But what I will tell you is, what is wrong with a man's dick? You're saying, yeah, difficult man, when you put it like that, shit, yeah, fuck, what is wrong with it? Yes, 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 woman, what is wrong with my dick? That's what I said, put your fucking dick on the table, put it on the table, don't eat it, but put it on the table. <laughs> what is wrong with it? You've been made to feel like something's wrong with it. What I tell you before, my last message, my last episode is called Kill the Message. You have to determine what information is good for you and not good for you. And the shit that's not good for you, you need to kill that shit. You need to behead it because it serves no purpose. It has no rhyme or reason. It only has meaning if you give it meaning. But I'm asking you to look at yourself and the most important part of yourself, which is your sexuality, and get comfortable with it. There is nothing wrong with sex. And there's nothing wrong with enjoying it. And there's nothing wrong with coming until your fucking brain explodes. There's nothing wrong with it. Why should you be ashamed of it? Because you like it more than others? Maybe if they had better sex, they would be in alignment with you and they will understand. But a lot of people have mediocre sex. You know why you have mediocre sex? Because you are fucking with the wrong goddamn people. Now, I've said that many times before. The more connections you have with a person, the deeper, the more vulnerable, open you are, the better they can fuck you. But if you're having superficial hooking up, mm, that shit won't sit with you. It won't feed your soul. It won't satiate your being. It won't rock your motherfucking world. It won't make you feel like you've died, died, died again, and then came to fuck back to life in your next lifetime. Do you understand? Can you understand? No, you don't want the fuck I'm talking about. That's my point. That is my point. If you are with people who do not make you feel like you want to do goddamn cartwheels and backflips, you're with the wrong people. The person that you are sharing your most wonderful parts, dick, pussy, whatever, you want to be with a person that makes you feel happy to have all of that to offer them. Listen to what I said. You want to be with a person who is so appreciative of all those inches of cock and all that fucking pussy juice that you offer that you are happy to be you. They're happy you are you and you are happy to be you. Do you understand? Can you understand? No, because we are taught, we're shown, we're told that this is what relationships are supposed to be like. Fucking bland, mundane, fucking ordinary. I say fuck that shit. Not now, not ever fucking again. Do you understand? Do you understand? Can you imagine being your true self? Can you imagine exposing your most freakiest shit to the other person? Can you do that without shame, guilt, regret, embarrassment? Can you do that? No. Dump the person that you're with and go explore. You're seeking security, but you really don't have security. It's a false illusion, delusion. You're living your life in fucking fear. Fear. That's like being strangled. 
shackled. There's only a few times where you should be strangled and shackled, and that is with your goddamn permission. Do you understand? Why are you signing yourself up for life like that? What are you scared of? What do you have to lose? I can tell you don't have shit to lose because you don't have much to fucking begin with anyway. Whatever that false sense of security you have, false sense of security, it's not legit. It's not legit. And each moment that goes by, you are killing parts of yourself that you have not even begun to explore or experience. That's what life is about, experience. Why is okay? Why is it okay to experience bad, boring, life-draining situations? But then people look at other people who are happy and pursuing life and think, oh, they're not responsible. Um, oh, they have unrealistic expectations. Oh, they don't understand what life is. Yes, maybe they do understand what life is. And maybe you're the one with the fucked up view. There is a pecker order. And that pecker order is that each part of ourselves is a treasure. And it's a treasure that a person should be able to worship and appreciate us mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually, spiritually. All of those things are important parts of our lives and each one works together. So if you are not okay sexually, that I can guarantee that you're not right emotionally, mentally, and physically. It all goes hand in hand. Now, some of you guys are fucking uptight prudes. And if you're uptight and a prude, you more than likely are probably not listening to me. So I probably got the super freaks here. So the super freaks, you can understand and relate to what I'm saying. People like to put labels and judgments about what you are, what you can be, what you should be, what you should not be. But none of that shit fucking matters. The question I have to ask you is, Are you goddamn happy? Are you happy? And if your answer is yes, that's what I'm talking about. If you are unsure or your answer is no, I'm going to go slap, slap. Yes, slap, slap. I'm fucking bitch slapping you. It's like get your shit together and get it together quickly because there's no guarantees in life. The only thing you are guaranteed is fucking taxes and goddamn death. So everything else, you need to make the most of it while you can. Can you handle that? Can you handle that? And men, if you met a woman who loves dick, and more specifically, she's interested in your dick, can you handle that? Can you handle the fact that she wants to worship your cock? Can you deal with it? Some of y'all saying, hell yeah, where is she? Where where that bitch at? Where that bitch at? (laughs) I know I'm ridiculous, but what I'm trying to get you all to understand as a man there is nothing wrong with you and how you're wired and now some men have no sexuality no sex drive at all and that's fine too you just need to be honest with the one that you're with because she may be a raging sex kitten and you people are probably mismatched but until you get open and honest and understand yourself there's no possible way that you can actually communicate Where you fall on the spectrum. But me difficult and demanding. I believe there's a pecker order. There's a pecker order. You see, if you treat a man right. He won't have any interest in any motherfucker heifer that comes in front of his face. None. Because you have basically rocked his world all the way through the goddamn universe and solar system. No one can fuck with that. They can't even come close. You know what, they can't come close because they can't even understand what the fuck I'm talking about. So, you understand what I mean? If you take your le- uh, line of thinking, you take it to another level, a completely different level, and then you execute that shit with precision, you're untouchable. And you're definitely fucking unforgettable. Would you like to be unforgettable? In a good way or a bad way? <laughs> Would you like to be unforgettable? Would you like the person that you're with to think about you every fucking moment of their waking day? Would you love for them to dream about you in the middle of the fucking night? Do you want them to reach for you, want you, look for you, hope it's you, go find you? Would you like that? Then you guys, you have to bring your best selves. And the only way you can bring your best self is to show your true self. 
Because when you show your true self, then you're really authentic, you're genuine. And then you truly have no motherfucking competition. But it's when we put on our fucking faces, our many faces, and try to be what we think we should be or what other people want us to be. And then you become mundane. You become ordinary. And who the fuck wants goddamn basic? I know the fuck. I know I don't. I don't fuck with basic. Fuck you and basic. I don't deal with basic. Basic is some pushy shit. It's cowardly. It's punk shit. I don't deal with that. It's easy to be basic. Who wants to be basic when you can radiate and you can fucking shine like a star and fuck like a goddamn rock star? What do you think about that? Yeah, I know I'm out there. But at least I leave an impression on you. I put something in your head that you cannot forget. And you will not forget. And you should not fucking forget. We don't know what possibilities lie out there for us unless we break the boundaries that's been put in place by other people and put in place by ourselves. And if you really want to feel liberated, you want to feel like you can breathe, if you really want um, mind-body wellness, then you need to take a step back and really look at what's in your life, what's around you, who you truly are. If you're not excited to come home, if you don't feel a little sad to leave home, if you cannot wait to climb in bed next to your beloved, I'm saying your foundation is off. Severely off. And I don't care if it looks right. Eventually, shit that looks right, the truth comes out. The truth always comes out eventually. The question is, where do you fall? Are you going to be on the winning side? Or are you going to be on the losing side? Because I believe being proactive, it's the best way to be. It's the only way to be. And you need to get proactive with your life. If you feel ashamed of your body because the person that you are with cannot, will not appreciate you, and you've already had body image issues, I'm saying, you know what? Get yourself together and get into another relationship. Now, both of y'all can't stand yourselves, don't like your fucking bodies. I say you got some deep issues, but hell, shit, maybe you can make that motherfucking shit work. Make it work. But if you're really looking for fulfillment, excitement, um, you're looking for like hope beyond belief and excitement to live and enjoy life, then you really, 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 really got to dig deep and you really, really, really got to bring it, like bring it, bring it to yourself and bring it to the table. Each, each time you fuck whoever you're with, new person, same person, you should be like a goddamn different person every time. If your sex life is the same. Every single time telling you, you are banned from fucking. You are not allowed to fuck until you get your shit straight. It should not be the same. Every time y'all motherfuckers should be different. You know why? Because the day is different. The time of the day is different. The fucking position is different. The way you feel is different. What you think is different. Everything is fucking different. Even your goddamn erection is not the same every fucking time. So if everything changes, how in the, sh how in the hell are you two people fucking the same? How is your fucking the same? It should not be the same. And if it's the same, I'm telling you, there's something wrong in your relationship. And matter of fact, most importantly, there's something wrong with both of your asses. There's something wrong. It should not be the same. Sex should not be the fucking same. I don't care how many years you've been in a relationship with that person. It changes. You know why? Because you're changing every moment, every day, every year, which means how you fuck should change. You understand? There should be growth within you and your fucking skills. And if your fucking skills is not keeping up with your growth, you need some help, some real help. And you should save your fucking erections and save your vagina juices for another time when you got your shit straight. Fuck hard or don't fuck at all. You're sending me, telling me, difficult and you don't get to tell me how to fuck. Yes, the fuck I do. Because it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. 
If you don't walk away trying to put your heart back in your chest, put your lungs back together, put your fucking head back on your body because all that shit has popped off or popped the fuck out. I'm telling you, you're missing out. You're saying, well, not everyone can do those acrobatics. You do whatever version of acrobatics your body, mind, spirit allows. But either way, it should be popping off like the fucking 4th of July, Labor Day, or whatever holidays you guys celebrate all over the world. It should be going off like firecrackers. And if it's not going off by firecrackers, your chemistry is off. More than likely, it doesn't exist. Maybe it never existed. True chemistry requires real vulnerability. True chemistry requires you to have some form of trust, openness, and trust. And if you don't trust the person you're fucking, that's why your sex is so bad. That's why it stays the same. There's no trust. You don't trust yourself, and you don't trust the other person, and it's fucking mutual. Because if you guys were open, raw, slapping, smacking, doing whatever it is that you're looking fucking, fucking to do, you would know this is a safe zone to do it, to think it, to speak it, to try it. You know it's a safe zone. And if you don't have a fucking safe zone sexually with the person you're with, kick their fucking asses to the curb. Y'all need to grow some dicks and some goddamn backbones and, and find a few balls. You understand? Find a few balls and go live your life. Living your life is not a crime. The crime is when you don't live your life. You're miserable, fucked up, and you're okay with it. You're okay with it. That shit is wrong on so many different levels. So if you guys want me, you know where to fucking find me. But come back to me. Until the next time. Are you disappointed this has come to an end? Well, it doesn't have to. Reach out and follow me on Instagram at Difficult and Demanding and let me know what you think about this episode and my show. Episode 135 will be here the week of March 22nd, 2021 from Difficult and Demanding.